Hello friends and welcome to PyShine. In this video we will use CSRT object tracker of OpenCV. It is known as discriminative correlation filter with channel and spatial reliability. It requires a bounding box around the object in an image frame. It uses correlation responses of different feature channels. These are summed to obtain the final single channel correlation response. Note that Maximum values of channel responses may vary by orders of magnitude. This tracker ensures enlarging and localization of the bounding box. Even, it can track an object that rotates during its motion. It has relatively high accuracy of object tracking. So, let's have a look at the block level diagram of the CSRT tracker. The video can be either from a web camera or from a video file. In the start, we create the tracker object. We then take the first frame of video and select the object by drawing a bounding box around it. Then, we initialize the tracker object with that first frame and the bounding box. After that, we go on taking the video frames and keep on updating the tracker. The tracker update function provides us the up to date bounding box. That's it. We can then put a rectangle on each upcoming frame using the coordinates of the latest bounding box. So let's start the Python coding. Please make sure that you have the version 3.4.5 of OpenCV. You can uninstall the other versions and then install this version of OpenCV. We also require IMUtils library to resize the image. So, we import essentials and initialize the tracker object. We make a camera variable to select either web camera or video file as the source of image frames. We have a videos folder and this main.py file inside our tracking folder. The videos folder has three sample videos. So, let's select the boat.mp4 file. Let's read the first frame of this video and resize it to 720 pixels in width. We want to select only one object which may not be in the center of the frame. So, we will use cv2.selectroi with false flag. The BB has X, Y, width and height. We initialize the tracker. Now, we are ready to acquire frames and update the tracker to get the updated BB values. In case of successful tracking, we will make the top left and bottom right points from the updated BB. Let's put the rectangle on the image frame using these points.
Finally, we show the output frame, and to quit, we can simply press letter Q. Release the objects. All right, let's run this simple code. Using mouse, we select the boat and then press space bar to continue. Let's try with the car.mp4 file. The third video is a top view of a road network. The vehicles are smaller in size and mostly are of the same shape. Not only that, the vehicles can turn around, which makes the tracking a challenging task. Thanks to CSRT tracking algorithm, the vehicle is being tracked successfully. If you like this video please share and subscribe to PyShine. Have a nice day. See you again.